Okay, let's have a, a little lesson on this piece, um, the Skyboat song, which is a Scottish folk song. And it's also the uh, Outlander theme, or like, it's a popular TV show, if you watch it, <clears throat> and a series of romantic, like, time travel novels as well. So, um, if you've been watching lots of my videos, you probably already know what I'm going to say, but you got to practice the melody on its own, right? So, before you even try anything, I think you should just play the Go to the melody section. It's marked with melody on the sheet music. By the way, you can get the sheet music in the tab off the, off the website, and there's a link in the YouTube info section. But go to the melody section, and all the stems going up, or just the upper voice in the tab if you're using the tab, but that's the melody, right? So you want that melody to be shaped um, in the way that you might sing it. So not... Can't be like that. It has to be smooth and legato and just and be the way the song sounds, right? Then when you add the other notes in, you don't want to disrupt that beautiful melody that you've worked on, right? So you want to retain everything that you've worked on and then progress further with it. So you could start by just adding the bass notes in. Uh, sorry. So you could just try playing the melody and just the bass notes, and then add in the extra accompaniment notes, and let all the notes ring, and but try to keep that melody going. Sorry. So just a couple of comments. Um, some of the notation's a little simplified just to make it a nice clean score, but just let things sustain if possible. There's just one or two spots where I've added some accompaniment that covers up the melody, but I don't think it's a big deal. Um, and then in the, in the very beginning, there's a chord intro. So it's just a C chord going to an A minor, to a D, to a G, to a C, to an F, to a C, and then G, and then the melody starts. And I've just arpeggiated it. Just to give it some activity. Before the melody starts. Just a little uh, intro. So you can even improvise chords if you're comfortable doing that there. Um, besides that, most of the lower voice I'm playing with my thumb. And then the upper voice mainly with M and A finger, trying to alternate as much as possible. And you'll notice some like some curious fingerings, but like this one makes sense. It's like a D shape here. That way my fourth finger can play here. It's not very legato jumping the third finger over or something, so. One, two, in order to, so that three is free to get that next note because you just don't want to jump fingers over it if possible. Sometimes you have to, sometimes it's not possible to have perfect fingering, but in this case, I think it works really well and it's, it's not out, too out of the ordinary. So, And then um, same thing goes for the second half of the piece, but there's nothing really awkward in this piece. Um, everything is in first position, regular chords. It just happened to work out really well in the arrangement that it, it turned out to be like a nice, easy arrangement with very little difficulties. Um, I'm not saying it's completely easy because there are some like navigation that you have to do between the chords while bringing out that nice melody. So I'm not saying it's, it's you know, easy to pull off, but it's certainly in terms of playing requirements, like you don't even have to shift at all. So nice, solid first position and it's a beautiful tune. So hope you enjoy it.